So guys, a wonderful good morning from Brisbane and uh, today I'll be flying Air New Guinea. You're probably wondering yourself where this airline is from. It is the national carrier of Papua New Guinea. So I'll be flying to Port Moresby in business class on one of their 767s. So it's quite an exciting trip today and uh, I can't wait to introduce this airline to you. Many of you probably haven't even heard of. So uh, let's get ready for another adventure and let's go uh, to Papua New Guinea and let's make this a great trip report. I can't wait. So all problems sorted as well because of the coronavirus. Um, everybody flying to Papua New Guinea needs a visa. So it was quite easy to get online luckily and you need to submit a health form as well. Um, because usually I can get a visa on arrival but uh, because during those circumstances at the moment things are very unpredictable so you better do your research before you go on the flight these days as I should have as well. There we go. As for people asking me how many countries have I visited, um, Papua New Guinea will be country number 94. So I'm heading for the 100 uh, for the legendary Century Club. But to be honest, I couldn't care less. Uh, So yeah, right now I'm here at the Corners Lounge. Um, everything's quite a rush today, um, but uh, yeah, this is what you have access to if you fly uh, in business class with Air New Guinea from Brisbane. But now we're gonna head to the Great and gonna get the first glimpse of the Boeing 767. I am super excited. So and welcome on board the 767 here in economy class first in a 232 configuration and uh, yeah you can see the very uh, typical overhead bins for the 767 and every seat here interestingly comes with um, a personal entertainment screen and uh, you can have a little test sit here so and this is the seat I think the legroom situation is very nice. You have a screen, you have a USB, you have a foldable table. I must say it is very 767-like. Those seats are very comfortable as well. Let's try the recline. And there we go, it's a very generous recline. And there is a pillow ready at your seat um, already as well. Well, let's head back to business class. So yeah, the economy class uh, cabin features 160 seats. And then we have um, 28 seats here in business class in a very unique 2-1-2 configuration. And this is gonna be my seat right here. So it's a very interesting setup here. Uh, business class merges perfectly into uh, economy. I don't know whether this is like an economy class, premium economy, but you are literally part, kind of part of the business class cabin. But I think they're gonna pull up that curtain there uh, to separate uh, the cabin. But yeah, I'm actually really excited for this flight. I think it's gonna be a lot of flight. The crew was very lovely. So I've been assigned 4C, which is the seat uh, right in the middle. And um, I've heard the cabin is not too full, like in business class. So I'm probably gonna shift to a window seat because being right in the center here, it is um, quite interesting. Um, I'd say it's lacking a bit of privacy and you seem to be like the, the center of attention. It's probably the ideal seat. If you don't wanna have a seat neighbor, um, I rather prefer to sit at a window. So let's see if I can shift in a little bit. 
I have a water. Thank you. And a welcome drink arrived already. Thank you. So I also received some uh, headphones. They seem noise cancelling, but I'm going to talk to you and show you the in-flight entertainment um, a little later. So now I just changed uh, seats. I have 6F now um, at the window. No seat neighbor. And uh, this 767-300 was uh, is 20, 21 years old, and it was introduced with Abu Dhabi Amiri flight. Um, I've never heard of that airline, and then was later given to Etihad, and then from Etihad, I think in 2001, it went to uh, Air New Guinea, and has been flying with Air New Guinea ever since. They're operating at two 767s at the moment. They have 737s as well and uh, Fokker 100s. And uh, let me give you a quick little uh, seat tour. So the seat doesn't go completely flat. Um, it's an angled flat bat. Um, but yeah, for four hour flight, uh, I don't mind. But I'm gonna show you later how it works. Um, but here, this are your seat controls right here. A very interesting, a very unique. Your tray table is kept here in the armrest. So if I pull here, the live rest probably comes out. A reading light. And uh, yeah, then there's the in-flight entertainment right in front of me. It features uh, a USB. Here is your safety card. And uh, so this is the onboard magazine called Paradise. So yeah, this is it for now. I think we're gonna be pushed back uh, very soon. But uh, the crew is amazing. They're so lovely. They're so kind. Um, I'm sure service-wise, this is gonna be an excellent flight. Uh, yeah, this is super exciting right now. Love flying such unique airlines like Air New Guinea and then especially on a white body. That is uh, something I really enjoy. So there's a little update on our departure uh, because the weather is quite bad right now here in Brisbane. Um, most of departures have been put on hold. Uh, so the captain just made an announcement that we would be probably be sitting at the gate for a little longer uh, until we get the clearance. But I don't mind sitting here. It could be worse. So this is the in-flight entertainment here on the 767. Um, it features 54 movies in total. So it's not like that the in-flight entertainment has like heaps of choices, but usually um, with such carriers, um, if you're lucky, if you have more than 10 movies, you're actually lucky. They have a few recent blockbusters on there, which is pretty cool. And something that uh, I also found quite interesting about Air Nigini is that they have a top-notch website. Um, I can tell you, when I tried to book Ariana Afghan or some other carriers, um, trust me, their internet was an absolute pain, or their website was an absolute pain. Uh, but Air New Guinea, they have a wonderful uh, online presence. They also send out uh, reminders before your flight. You can bid on upgrades as well. Um, you could pick your seats without any issues. That is something where Air New Guinea is right there on top with most of the major airlines. And uh, trust me, nothing is more relaxing than a very easy to navigate website where you can book your flight, where you can pick your seat, and all these perks. Uh, for that, I salute you, Ernie Guinea. Thank you for making our life a little easier. So we're climbing out of Brisbane, uh, we almost reached cruising altitude. It's pretty
pretty loud in the cabin, especially here in the back. Yeah, and then the service should kick off uh, very soon. But now let me demonstrate you um, how flat or not uh, the seat goes. So this is the flatbed situation here. Um, it is actually flat, it's nice, it's comfortable. And uh, considering the longest flight they have in their network is uh, Singapore, which is roughly six hours, uh, this is a perfect uh, situation. Lovely regional business class, I would say. So the only issue there might be here is uh, probably the lack of privacy. Um, Okay, I take it back. Uh, there's a privacy divider right here, and uh, whoever is going to sit next to you won't see you, they won't be able to look at you, and uh, you have all the privacy uh, you need. So the crew also just gave out the menu. They have grilled lamb cutlets, or we have roasted chicken breast. Uh, as a dessert, I can say we have berry cheesecake. Uh, definitely what I'm going for. So we have to keep uh, the cheesecake competition alive. The current champion or the last year champion was uh, South African Airways. So uh, new contenders for this year. Um, yeah, there's also a wine list. They have two white wines on the list and two red wines. So the main course has arrived, uh, chicken breast with a side of uh, potato uh, and uh, some gravy. Uh, it looks very blunt <laughs> and a little dry, but maybe it tastes differently. Oh, see like the view is beautiful from up here, look at this. Yeah, sorry for the interruption, but uh, yeah, now let's dig in and uh, look, beautiful salt and pepper shakers. Uh, always appreciate it and you have the Air New Guinea branding uh, on the uh, cutlery also pretty nice all right now let's try it let's see what it tastes like so I finished my lunch and it was lovely um, the chicken first of all like when the chicken arrived here and I saw that big chunk it kind of that kind of reminded me of um, which airline was it? This African airline. Uh, TAC. TAC Angola. Look at, look at this monster. Where I was like served as a big chunk of dry chicken and it was awful. Yeah, but this one was lovely. It is cheesecake time. So let's see how good that one is. I think it also might be... It might be the very first cheesecake of 2020. Very good cheesecake, very lovely. Overall, a very nice meal. So into round things up, um, a coffee. And I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of their tableware. Uh, which you probably notice on many other different videos. Um, every time you fly those unique, very special airlines, such as Biman or Nepal Airlines, um, or now here in New Guinea, uh, those airlines do still feature like very cozy, um, yeah, tableware, which you usually don't find anymore on all those uh, new classy airlines. But yeah, it gives the experience a very personal touch. And this is, uh, why I get so excited about a simple tableware, but it's just beautiful. What do you think about it? Does it get you excited? Do you take them home? Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. So now it's time for the lavatory review. Um, do you guys actually enjoy them or not? Um, 
because sometimes they get quite boring uh, but I know a lot of people make fun of it um, let me know whether you still want to see laboratory reviews um, in the near future so comment right now if you're for them or against them but now we're gonna check out uh, the laboratory here uh, on the 767 so let's go So and here we are inside the laboratory. I must say this is the quietest uh, place here on the air, whole aircraft. Like all of a sudden, I can hear again because it's so loud in the cabin. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Nice mirror here with the Air New Guinea logo. And here are the amenities. Yeah, moisturizer, soap. What's this? Aircraft approved air freshener. All right. So apparently there must be some air sick bags here somewhere as well. Seat covers, facial tissues, uh, an ashtray if you feel like smoking. That was a joke, don't smoke ever on an airplane. And I also noticed today I have a bad hair day, which is super annoying. <laughs> this is it, this is the uh, lavatory here on the 767. So, and this is my lovely crew here on my flight. This is Judy, uh, the cabin manager, right? Hey! Having a really lovely flight here, mainly because of the crew. So what's the secret? Why are you guys so nice? It's a short date. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short date. <laughs> but thank you for the lovely flight. I really enjoyed it, especially your hospitality. And uh, it's an overall great experience. So you guys should come and fly Air New Guinea, right? Exactly. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Too. Welcome. Thank you. So the flight map says we are fairly close to Port Moresby. Um, and yeah, I had a chat with the crew. They're very lovely people, very kind. Uh, it's all about hospitality here and uh, that is definitely something that stood out here on this flight. Uh, the, uh, the care of the crew, the interest they have in their passengers. They're very happy just to have a chat and they're very eager to get to know you. So that is uh, something uh, that stood out the most here for me on uh, Air New Guinea. So, the captain has turned on the seatbelt sign, um, told the crew to get the cabin ready for arrival. Um, yeah, so I hope we're gonna get some nice scenes landing uh, in Port Morrisby, an airport I've never been to, a country I've never been to. So, I'm just like, as excited uh, as you guys are. And I suggest that one time on the ground, I'm gonna give you a full summary of today's experience here on the 767 uh, of Air New Guinea. We've done it. Welcome to Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. Thank you, Judy. Bye. Bye. See ya.
So here I am at the Hilton in Port Moresby. You're going to stay for two nights and then I'm off to Manila. Um, but let me quickly sum up the flight. It was um, a great adventure for an aviation geek like me. I really loved it. Uh, the crew was outstanding, amazing, very kind people and they were very professional, which I really loved uh, overall. It was so much fun. So if you love aviation, that's definitely an airline you should put on your list. If you come to Port Moresby, uh, you should definitely fly Air New Guinea. I can highly recommend them. A lot of fun, lovely crew, good food, lovely product. And it's something else, especially the 212 configuration. Lots of fun. Guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you um, enjoyed this special episode uh, on this very unique carrier. Uh, please reward me with a like. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of today's trip. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because there is a lot of more very unique and cool and exotic airlines um, coming this year uh, that I can promise. Um, well guys, thank you so much for watching and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.